By the end of this video, you will be able to add a staff or staves to the music that you are working on in MuseScore Studio. Let's get started. So you're going to want to have MuseScore open and the project that you're working on. And I'm currently working with MuseScore Studio uh, version 4.5. And in order to add a staff or staves, what you're going to want to do is actually add an instrument. So whenever you're looking at your screen, you will want to make sure you are clicked on score on the top left. And then normally it will be defaulted to palettes. So in order to add an instrument or a stave, you're going to want to go to layout and then left click on layout. And then you're going to see a button for add. So you can click that button and then it'll say new instrument. Now the shortcut for this is just the letter I. So you notice if I press I while you have MuseScore open. And so now I can add or remove instruments. And again, with each staff or stave, so if you're adding a treble clef, or maybe a bass clef, even alto clefs and tenor clefs, as well as octave above or below clefs, uh, this will work with any of those clefs and each clef is tied to an instrument. So most likely if you know the instrument you want, it will have the staff or, his, or a clef that you would like to work with. So let's say I would like to add a flute to this part. You'll see the instruments here in the middle. Um, typically, the family of instruments is uh, set to common. If you want to see all the instruments, you just press all instruments. And then I'm going to go ahead and find the flute again. So there's flute. You want to left click on flute. And then a little arrow will appear here. You want to make sure you left click that arrow. And now it shows up on your score. So you want to make sure that it shows up here on the right hand side. And once you see it on the right hand side, you can press OK. So you can see a flute was added to this score, and currently this is set up in an orchestral order. Let's say I'd like to change the order of those instruments. Again, I can just press I on my keyboard, and then you can see it brings up the add or remove instruments. On the right-hand side, it has the score order, so there's orchestra. Uh, I, let's say I want to do this for a choir, so that will change the order completely. I'm going to left-click on that, and you can see it press, put the soprano voice on the top, the grand piano, and then the flute on the bottom. I'm going to press OK. So you can see now those are reordered the way I would like them. If you're not sure which instrument you want to add, but you just want to add a clef, uh, you're going to want to find an instrument that has that clef. So in, in, for instance, let's say I wanted to add uh, a treble clef. You know, a flute would have a treble clef as well as an oboe and things like that. So let's say I want to add a treble clef. I would just click on oboe and then press over in the score and press OK. And so now I added another treble clef here for the oboe on the bottom. You can always change the sound of that clef uh, with the mixer panel, and I show that in another video, uh, so you can uh, check out my uh, video for how to work with the mixer. Now let's say you would like to work with the clefs you have here. When you're in layout, I want to show you some of these options that you have. So let's say I have soprano here. I can drop down soprano, and it shows me that I have a treble clef attached to that soprano line. If I wanted to add a staff or a clef with that soprano line, I would just click on the add staff icon here, and so now I have two treble clefs with the soprano. Now, by default, it adds uh, the same clef that you had here. So it was a treble clef, and it added another treble clef. So each time I add a staff, again, it will keep adding treble clefs to this. And all of those will be in the soprano voice uh, sound on the mixer. If I want to delete any of these, what you want to do is have it selected. So I want to left click. And then there's a trash icon here on the uh, left-hand side of your screen. Again, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it. So you've got this uh, trash icon. You would just left click on that and you'll see it deleted it from the score. So again, I want to delete that treble clef. I'm going to delete that. OK, and then let's say I wanted to add a bass clef. What you want to do is click on add and go to instruments. And then this time what you're going to do is find an instrument that has a bass clef. So let's say I want to go with brass and a tuba. And I'm going to add that. So now I've got tuba add that tuba to it. Now that has a bass clef. Again, you can find all the bass clefs on the layout here. And then I have my tuba, so I can click down on that. And then when I have a bass clef, I want to add another bass clef. I just add staff here. So I'll zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. So add staff. And then now it added that tuba line that has another bass clef there. So this is a basic tutorial on how to add a staff or staves to the music you're working on in MuseScore Studio. There are more advanced uh, features when it comes to staffs or staves, but I just want to get the basics covered here. If you made it this far into the video, you most likely want to get the most out of MuseScore Studio. I made a complete beginner's guide, and I'll put a link to that video here.